Sup guys, it's Brendan, and welcome to the solution to your second coding challenge. This one might have been a little more tricky. Hopefully you were still able to get it though, nothing too, nothing too crazy or ridiculous. So um, I'm going to start by writing out the, the method where I needed a float as a parameter. So I'll start. I needed to be private and static, just like we've been doing. It didn't have to be private. Ideally it is private though. It had to be static though. And uh, the method has to return this float. So uh, we'll have it be float for returning. And then I'll just call this method exercise. Could have named it whatever you wanted. And then it needed one float as a parameter also. So I'll go uh, float uh, param. And needed an opening brace. And then hit enter and the closing brace comes up automatically. And uh, you're getting all sorts of errors right now. That's just because we haven't returned a float yet though. And so what we're going to do is we are going to just directly alter this float. So first we had to add it, add one to it. So I'll just go param plus plus. I was trying to get you to use this uh, the inc incremental operator. And then you had to divide it by three. There I really wanted you to use the, the uh, self operators. So if you do the forward slash and then the equals and then three, this is gonna divide param by three. Then the, the method needs to return this value. So actually you can just return param, really param divided by three, now that I think about it. Or you could just do the param divide equal by three, since that's what I'm trying to teach you, I might as well just do that. And we will return param. And all is well. Okay, and now in here, we need to output this thing that we just created, this monster system.out.println, and then in here we need to call. We're going to, we're going to call exercise, and we need to put a float value in here. So I'll just go. Uh, I don't know, 5.78, and uh oh, what do we got here? Oh, we forgot to put the uh, F. It's always sometimes tricky, but going between languages, some require it, some don't. But um, in the most part, you, you always gotta put this F here for your float value. And so, thinking about it, if adding one, it'll be about 6.78, and then divide it by three, it'll be anywhere in between, somewhere between two and three. And if we don't get that value, then God bless us all, but control F11, and we get 2.26. So that, confirming on my calculator, that is what we should have gotten. So perfect, our, our method works, our method of madness. So hope you enjoyed this, not so much challenge, but coding exercise. And I will see you in the next tutorial where we carry on with our delving into Java tutorials. <laughs> see you guys later.